Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the solved problem based on the losses and efficiency of the DC generator part 1. Subscribe the channel for more video. The soft copy of this material available in the link. The link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the problem. The armature and field resistance of 110 voltage sun generator running at 800 rpm are 0.12 ohm and 55 ohm respectively. So this is coming under sun generator. The speed is given, voltage is given, armature and field resistance are available. It supplies a 20, 220 lamps of each rated 60 watts 110 voltage. The friction and vintage core losses of the machine is equal to 410 watts, 410 watts. Calculate armature copper loss on full load and sun field copper loss. Second one mechanical, electrical and overall efficiencies. Now we will see the data, what are the given data available. The voltage is given 110 voltage, the speed is 800 rpm, armature resistance 0.12 ohm, sun field resistance 55 ohm. 220 lamps are available with each 60 watts. So the power output equal to 220 into 60, 13,200 watts, right? There are 220 lamp available each 60 watts. So multiplying this will get the power output 13,200 watts. Friction and vintage loss plus core loss. That is called as a stray loss is, not, is equal to 410 watts, right? friction vintage plus core loss is given that is called a stray loss that is equal to 410 watts first we will find the armature copper loss we will go to the armature copper loss so for sun generator ia equal to il plus ish armature current equal to load current plus sun field current this is divided both are divided so the sum of these two is the armature current so the isc can be calculated as v divided by RSH because sun field is connected across the load and connected across the armature. So the same voltage is available across across the armature as well as sun field. So 110 divided by 55 that is equal to 2 amperes. Sun field current is 2 amperes. Then the power output P equal to VD into IL. So from that we can calculate the IL because power value is available. Power we calculated 13,200. The V also available. So from that we can find the load current. So IL equal to P divided by V. So 13,200 divided by 110 voltage. That is equal to 120 ampere. So now we calculated the load current also. From that we can calculate the armature current. IA equal to IL plus ISH. So that is equal to 120 plus 2. That is 122 ampere. The armature current is 122 amperes. So with this armature value, we can calculate the copper losses one by one. Armature copper loss equal to IA square into RA. The formula for armature copper loss is IA square into RA. So that is 122 square into 0.12. The armature current just now we calculated. So that is equal to 1786 watts armature copper loss. Then sun field copper loss that is equal to ISH square into RSH that is this ISH is nothing but 2 ampere so 2 square into 55 that is equal to 220 watts so this is the sun field copper loss so the total copper loss equal to 1786 plus 220 that is equal to 2006 watts the total copper loss is 2006 watts Now we can calculate the total loss. Total loss equal to total copper loss plus stray loss. The stray loss is given in the problem itself, 410. The total copper loss, now we, now we calculated, 2006. So that the total loss will be 2416 watts. Right? 2416 watts is the total loss. So with this data, we can go for the efficiency. That now we can now we are having the data total loss so that we can able to find the efficiency one by one so the mechanical power input is nothing but power input plus losses this mechanical input so 
So power input is 13,200 plus loss is 2,460. So totally the mechanical power input is 15,616 watts. 15,616 watts, right? The power input, electrical power input plus losses will give the mechanical input. By adding this loss and power input, we can get the mechanical power output, mechanical power input. So the power developed in the armature is nothing but this mechanical input minus, minus stray loss. Once the mechanical input is given, some stray losses will be there. If we subtract the stray loss from the mechanical input, we can get the power developed in the armature. So 15,616 minus stray loss will give the 15,206 watts. So this is the power developed in the armature. So this is the power given, power mechanical power given input. So from that if you subtract the stray loss, we will get the power developed in the armature. right? Now we have the data mechanical power input, the total power input and power developed in the armature. So with this value we can calculate the efficiencies one by one. So the mechanical efficiency is nothing but power developed in armature divided by mechanical power input. right? So mechanical power input is given at the time the stray loss will be there the remaining is nothing but developed in the armature. So that power developed in armature divided by mechanical power input will give the mechanical efficiency. These two data are available. 15,206 divided by 15,616 into 100. So that is 97.37% right? The mechanical efficiency is 97.37%. Now we will go to the electrical efficiency. So the electrical power output divided by power developed in the armature. Power developed in the armature, after that some copper loss will be there. Remaining will be available as the electrical power output. So power developed in the armature is now calculated 15,206. Right? Where power output is 13,200. How the value is reduced? That is due to the copper loss. Right? So 13,200 divided by 15,206 into 100, it will give 86.8% .8 So the electrical, electrical efficiency is 86.8% Now we can calculate the overall or commercial efficiency That is electrical power output divided by mechanical input So this is the primary input, mechanical input The primary output is electrical power output Input In between what we have power developed in armature so that is due to the stray loss thereafter copper loss so different losses are available so finally we are getting the electrical output so the mechanical power input is 15616 watts electrical power output is 13200 so 13200 divided by 15606 into 100 it will give the 84.52% so the overall efficiency is 80 4.52 percentage. So in this problem we discuss about the sun generator for that we calculated the copper loss right armature copper loss followed by efficiency mechanical efficiency electrical efficiency and overall efficiency subscribe the channel for more videos the soft copy of this material available in the drive link is given in the description box thank you for listening